I don't think so. And the other one, okay. And this is on camera. And this is not a spring chicken. I'm laughing because we're talking about something called theater phobia. Oh yeah, it's supposed to be driving people away from the movie theater because they're scared to go to movies now. Well, the problem is, is the people on the right, stream right and the stream left that are telling you people are scared of the movies. Let's say, well, look at the movie this weekend. Bat, the people that said Batman made $64 million. Well, it couldn't have made $64 million. You know, okay, what hell would have froze over before it made $64 million because it couldn't have, it means it had to have a record Sunday. For a oh, for a film that's in its second week, it gets the sixty four million. So as you notice, she's got heels on today, and I don't. Oh, just, just no, that's all right. I don't like this. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm also standing in front of him. If I, I see, I know. see, then she's sorter. But no, just the heels up front. <laughs> so she can go back front again and put her little slippers back on. But no, um, here here's the biggest problem with what's going on in the industry at the moment. It's it's resulted in movies being pushed back and movies being cut. And uh, as they said, they, they made changes with the watcher, with, um, with what is his name, you know, uh, you know um, I can't remember what his name was now, the guy from Zoolander, you know, but... Uh, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, well, everybody knows. <laughs> I, I know. You know okay, the, anyway. The Falkers movies, he's the producer, writer. But they had to make changes of it because it resembled, tra too much resembled a travel on Martin. Didn't resemble it whatsoever. It's a bunch of no, white guys, it's you know, like, totally, you know, uh, you know, and there's a black person in the movie. Well, you know, I think sometimes people see what they want to see. Oh God, we know that. They, they, when we do pitch, we do photo shoots. They keep seeing things with hers that do not exist. You know, why know they don't exist? Because they make certain they don't exist. Or they were never there in the they first place. They were never in the first place. But um, uh, was it? Uh, some of the canned stuff, which had to do with violence, has been moved back. I mean, it basically had done horrible damage to uh, Matthew McConaughey because I think he's had two of his movies bounce back in the schedule and one movie moved forward. Oh, really? Well, yeah, because he had three, was it three movies at cons? Yeah, I think two of them deal with violence and they decided, well, that's improper. I think it, it basically got a TV series axed because they uh, were afraid that it, it was too much violence. And... Um, and like I said, the, uh, the industry basically, here's the trick is, when Republicans and Democrats ever get together, it's never for the good of the nation. Because the Republicans... Yeah, I know, anytime they agree on anything, I, I mean, you can expect it to be restrictive. The Repo Democrats, <laughs> want to, Democrats want total gun control, so their great mantra is, when all of the guns are removed from people's homes, only the criminals will have guns. Yeah, and all of the people that voted for gun control because they don't actually have guns legally. Well, see, part of it is, is the criminals, if they're going to have guns, they're going to have guns. Because they, the Democrats there's a reason they're them. called criminals. They don't, they don't, they don't care. care about the law. I mean, they absolutely do not understand. Okay, Muslims have guns, for Christ's sake. They ever see them when they firing their guns? I mean, the British basically... Uh, the British have an ungodly gun problem, and they don't allow guns in England anymore. Denmark has a gun problem. Every country in the world that does not allow guns has a severe problem with the criminal element with guns because they don't get them legally. Well, and the problem is that everybody, yeah, everybody doesn't have guns except for the people that you really don't want to have guns. <laughs> yeah, but the Democrats... Except, it's like an oxymoron. Yeah, it's an oxymoron because they, they don't understand that. It's just like people will... Your rights, you know, your right, you can only have rights until I think that they infringe upon my rights and then you have no rights anymore. That's what the Democratic Party basically goes for. And Republicans, well, this is a, a demoralizing society issue. Video games and movies and television shows are, are destroying our society. Well, actually, that's the biggest thing is since that has happened what it's done to the entertainment. Oh God, they're, right. they're running, most of the people are running totally scared of doing anything because of the fact, okay, the people on the left, the people on the right, they really don't give a tinker's damn about the people in the middle. Should we remind them it's an election year? So they're election looking year. for something. They're playing to their bases, but the problem is, is that they both have an issue they agree on. They may not agree exactly the same way, but they will. Here's what they want it to have been proposed that all content in motion pictures, television shows, and video games be submitted through a government agency at, for 
to see whether or not it should be put out there because oh of the gosh. danger can do society. Well, it actually means you develop another government agency. Yeah. And similar to, I think of the FDA, where it takes how long to get a drug approved? Um, okay. Yeah, you never get most drugs approved. But here the trick is, is so that... Probably not as long as that, but still. No, like, most of them will never be approved because they'll... Um, the well, case, guess what that would do to investment in movies? No, they will stop it, but it, 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 it will roll back to the fact that um, at Sundance Film Festival last year, they actually wanted me to sign a petition to get the government to seize the film industry from the wealthy people, and the government would then stop any censor. They would be able to have freedom to do as they choose, no censorship, and the money they needed to do productions. That isn't the way it works because <laughs> any time the government, the, gov the people are suggesting a program, this is right and left, folks. That I think at, at the moment, the last count was 30, uh, th this is the rumor, 38 prominent Democrats in the entertainment, film and television and video game community and four prominent Republicans have joined together to discuss plans to control content of what you're seeing. Which means, uh, but don't worry though because they have sworn on a, you know, I don't have a thing, but we'll, we'll use my Olympic thing in a stack of Bibles. They have sworn on a stack of Bibles, we will not censor anything and the government will not dictate what can and cannot be made. You put that under the category of BS. Mm -hmm. Because the instant they get their hands on it, and most people don't remember Judge Landis, that basically, we used to have a film industry that had no censorship on it. We had a famous, we had a famous opera singer in the motion picture industry that was known as the lingerie girl, until Mount, you know, Judge Landis took over this, the industry to make certain it was all cleaned up. Mm -hmm. She became, she became Doris Day in the 1930s. Mm -hmm. She became a virgin, even though she wasn't. And uh, <laughs> so uh, the 19, we'll put it this way: the great movies of the 1930s and the noir things of the 40s would never be made in this environment that exists as of this day because of the shooting. You would not yeah. see Casablanca. You would not see I was a prisoner of chain gang. You'd never see I was, they made me a criminal. None of that would be made. Hey, you know, here's another side. Does that mean that <coughs> movies might cost less to produce because there's not as much violence in it? <coughs> no. It won't cost anything because they're going to have to spend more money to try to draw people into the theaters, and it will take more big bucks to do it. They're going to have to get more people hung into the, the process. But you don't think that because the government's going to get involved, it's going to cut cost. <laughs> I mean, they just found out that the health care thing is going to cost $500 billion more than what they originally figured. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, and there's not going to be enough revenue coming in to cover it, which mm -hmm. we I'm assuming that what's going to happen that there'll be no independent productions ever allowed again. Mm. Well, because well, actually, that's horrible if there's no independent productions. Because they won't have the clout to get them through the, the system. Uh, well, it's not censorship, but you're going to have to go through a government regulatory agency. So there's talk about two different things. One is regulating the entertainment, whether it's movies, actually television. It, and, and they've always games. been talking about it for video games. Video the games. other thing is it will affect the movie going experience because they're also talking about increased security at movie theaters. Oh, if you love going through an airport, which we're doing tomorrow, which is, you know, we're basically packing to be able to go through the TSA thing. TSA is making recommendations for security through Homeland Security at theaters now, which cool. means, okay, everybody, before you go in, uh, that isn't going to go well. Well, because the theater owners have a hard enough time getting people to go into the movies as it is. And they're not going to go in where they're going to have to stand in a line to go through security to go to a movie. It just isn't going to be done because you can see the thing at home and not go through security. Yeah, but some of them will say that people are used to doing it when they go to concerts. They're not going to go to a movie theater and, uh, and go through a security check-in because uh, it just isn't going to happen. They already know it's not going to happen because they did say Okay, they lied about Batman box office this week, folks. They really did. Oh, they lie. did. Yeah, they really did lie. Like anybody think they lied, but the rest of the office it went down like that. They said that it's not a, okay. First of all, the movies were crappy which, to begin with, and the Olympics started. But they said that there was um, as much as 25 percent of the movie audience said that we're not going to go. We're not going to go through whatever hassles they're doing now because they have put editors at it. The bigger chains are putting extra added security on. Oh, they are? And they don't want... Well, that will drive people to the smaller ones. 
Uh, I know we're driving this model, but the reason they go to the big ones is because they like have 14, 15 theaters to pick from. And right, the and, you can, and you can have several different people and everybody can go watch a movie at the same yeah, time. Yeah, you can take the kids in and dump them off at a Disney thing and you can go over and see, you know, The Killing with Matthew McConaughey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's, that's basically it's not happening. But, uh, um, but it, it's, it's any time the government ever gets involved in anything, it's never for the good of the people, it's for the good of the government. God, can you imagine them? Uh, we, we put this, the, um, the, the, great, the great war movies, all by the Western Front, would not be made if Republicans and Democrats were in control of the movie industry. It almost didn't get made then. You'd think Patton would get made if the movie was in charge, if they had an industry, because the people on the left, Pat was a Republican, they would never allowed it to happen. Or you'd think the movie uh, 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 War and Peace would have gotten made? No, because the Republicans on the right would have said it's it basically promotes socialism. But they, their response would be the Republicans. Well, there's 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 a there's a there's a revolution in there where too many people got killed, and we can't allow this violence. Mm -hmm. the Democrats would have said. Well, it promotes a viewpoint that we wholeheartedly support, but there was gun violence in it, and we can't do anything that allows gun violence. It's a war, for Christ's sake. All, uh, how about, I, I actually was in The Longest Day. That movie would never get made oh, under this plan. Oh, yeah, I got it. Hey, if we have a choice between playing an American or playing a German, who do you think I played? A German. Of course. As my little girl said, and my wife said to me, she said, you know, Daddy, if you knew the Germans were the bad guys, why did you always play the bad guys? Because <laughs> worse. Blonde hair, blue green eyes, and light skin. What do you do in, in war movies? They don't play. You're, if you're an American, you're always dark haired. So, and tanned. Mm -hmm. I don't tan. She can tell you that. You know, but um, you're just so no, red. But you tan. No, actually what happens is I turn a color and then I wash it off. Mm -hmm. So, I turn red. My mommy and my grandmommies and so forth about the, about the history were Indians, folks. So I turn, uh, that is my, 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 my historical reference to my Indian side of the family is that I do turn red when I go out in the sun. Mm -hmm. And then I turn white again. So. Mm -hmm. But no, just think of the movie. Okay, uh, I was in charge of Feather River, which was a god-awful bad sci-fi movie. They say bring it up again. If you want to see what's funny in the movie, they're throwing lances and, and um, Guy Maddox and a few others, they got their rifles hitting, shooting the lances with their rifles, knocking the lances away. They should be shooting the guys, but they're shooting. They're getting their lances where they were really throwing the lances at them. I know because I got to throw lances at them. But, you know, I, I, my hair, I always tell people a good one. My mother had a crush on Guy Madison from, from school. Mm. It's the only time my mother ever came to see a movie that I was in as an actor and not a singer was when Guy Madison was in it. So she had a crush on Guy Madison. And she sat there in charge of Feather River. She, she, she said, you know, she, you know, she, my family always called me Billy. She said, Billy, did he just do what I thought he did? And I said, yes. Mm -hmm. She said, that was stupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it didn't change her view of Guy Madison. She still liked him. He was tall, good looking. You know, war hero. So, and my mother liked the tall. My father married a guy that wasn't was short. And, and, and <laughs> so she, and so, but uh, that movie would never have been never be made under the system that they're proposing. Movies that she like likes would never be made. Transformers would not be made. The Harry Potter movies wouldn't be made because the Republicans would object. You probably wouldn't even make the Hobbit. The you know? Hobbit wouldn't be made because the Republicans would object. And this is the way it works. They would have Republicans and Democrats sitting on a censorship board. <laughs> I'm sitting there laughing. I'm thinking only the Disney movies would get made, but there's violence in Disney movies. Uh, so Bam Bambi wouldn't get made because there was gunfire. So let's see. What do you have? Uh, Romantic comedies. But put it this way: we have the uh, we have. What happens if it's animation and shows violence? Uh -uh. The Song of the South is a banned movie today by both parties because it depicts. It, it, it depicts racism. Mm -hmm. It depends on the a, a southern male that basically is, is telling the stories of what happened. You know, like Br'er Rabbit, the character. Guy, I mean, I like the guy. He's a kid. He was a great speaker, great actor, great singer, but it depicts racism. That movie has not seen the light of day since the Civil Rights Act passed. Mm -hmm. 
And so there, that was that was animation. Remember Uncle Remus telling the tales? Never heard of most of these. You've never seen Brer Rabbit. I've never, never seen. seen you never. You've never seen. Uh, you never. You know, tortoise, tor turtle, tur uh, tortoise, the tortoise, and the hare. Mm -hmm. so that's where all that stuff came from. But. Um, you think nothing would be approved because you can never get both. It basically, um, uh, there would be the Republicans would object to anything that had sex in it. Democrats would basically approve. The more sex, the better. <coughs> Republicans would approve. So you tell me how any movie would ever get movie or TV show would ever get made with the uh, with the two parties wanting the two. You know, it's why it, 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 it's just a disaster. The film industry. Um, I can tell you flat out, I axed out a bunch of people off my Facebook page last night because they're bloody morons. Total and absolute, well this will not result in censorship, this will result in a better, more stable America. No, they, uh, they basically were anti-religious, you know, anti-religious. Uh, you know, anti